हेलो लर्नर्स आई एम हियर विथ अनदर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर लर्निंग द एन एक्स ओपन प्रोग्रामिंग एंड टॉपिक्स विद इन दैट विदाउट एनी प्रायर नॉलेज ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग और एनी काइंड ऑफ डिजाइन ऑटोमेशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड आई एम हियर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू विथ अनदर एग्जाम्पल this is a typical example which is related with the uh, compatibility of a solid edge assembly when loaded in nx so this might be a version specific issue or a challenge that you may not have seen before but just forget about that we are not here to understand that that particular topic we are going to understand that scenario that that situation with respect to the programming so you can see an assembly which is the native nx assembly but when in case if you have an solid edge assembly with you and you try to load that assembly uh, then even if assembly level features is turned on in the construction geometry within component part uh, within component uh, parts is not loaded even if this assembly level feature is turned on in the geometry still the component parts are not loaded even if this option is checked in solid works preferences so there is some incompatibility issue when even if we save the solid edge assembly with this setting the turn the work around for this is is there but uh, but that is not an uh, the the focus for us the this particular example this particular journal is actually helping uh, to fix that incompatibility issue with a journal so this journal actually does the job it traverses all the components counts the bodies and then it updates each component part uh in the in in the assembly environment in the, in the nx so whichever is the issue with incompatibility that is being solved here in this in this example okay so at least you understand that this example works in a assembly environment and without wasting any more time let's jump into understanding that journal this particular journal is written in visualbasic.net so i will go to preferences user interface and then i will make sure that it is visual basic which is a journal language and then i can show you this journal similarly how we have imported the library the uh, system and nx open same way here system nx open uh, there are some further libraries inside nx open called uf and assemblies which are also imported in this particular example we are going to talk about the assemblies so nx open dot assembly is also imported then this is the module name update all solid edge components and then this is the main function and uh, you can see this is the main this is the content code within the main function now before we jump into main function main function understand what is this uh, libraries nx open nx open uif nx open assemblies it helps us connect our program uh through the to the nx cad through these libraries then once that connection is done we have to take the connection with the session because there is an active assembly in that session available so we have to get that session as well so selected code is doing that that thing for us now when we are into the the assembly environment then component assembly dot root component is very important because this accesses the top level 
component which is that assembly itself in a assembly environment with component assembly dot root component we are accessing that 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 top level assembly and then we are reporting the children body status from uh, uh, in that assembly starting from the top level and then uh, this is actually the function report children body status so this function is is written here and we are just calling that function in the main main function but the main job is done inside inside this function okay so this this is that function so what it does it first gets the children component all the children component in that assembly then it gets the bodies of uh, all all the children components and then the the top most thing that it is doing is this one as this particular function is available within uf that's why we had that nx open uf library called on the top and then uf session is declared as ufs and then modl means for modeling so modl is a namespace where we have several access points or interfaces to access modeling related apis then edit import body feature this is the exact fix or this is the exact work around that this journal is doing when it comes to incompatibility of solid edge assembly into nx this is that line that is fixing that is updating that uh, that body uh, in in into the into the assembly and as this is a for loop this is a loop which is traversing through the entire assembly this loop is ensuring that that particular update is being done on each and every body which is available in a part file so this is the simple thing that this program is doing one by one traversing all the bodies and updating the body feature using this this line so if i play if i hit the play button though i do not have an uh, and solid edge assembly there it has been traversing and it is being uh, updating all of the bodies one by one in that in that component so this is how this particular journal functions i hope it has landed to you uh, very well if not then i would recommend you you take this code out try out on any solid edge assembly that you have definitely it will help you understand much better and uh, if you don't know where to find out this source code then please go and check the comment section just below this video to know uh, to get to the page where you can access this source code thank you for being with me i will come up with the next example in this video series i hope you are able to understand and you are you are liking the the examples that i am i am sharing with you so please do subscribe to my channel and uh, bye bye we will see you in the in the next video thank you